Brett Kavanaugh. And if he did it, and I'm going to present some evidence that I wish there I could be there in the Senate. I'm going to watch. She's going to give her testimony, we believe, in the Senate, and Kavanaugh is going to give his story. But I wish I could be there as counsel for this woman because I've got other evidence besides the he said, she said of this story. Okay, there's circumstantial evidence which is permissible in court. And many people are in jail today because of circumstantial evidence. Yes. And you don't always have eyewitnesses to crimes. And that's what investigators look for. They interview other people, take fingerprints, whatever. Circumstantial evidence. And I'm going to present a case here, Your Honor. And I think it's going to be pretty solid. Because Brett Kavanaugh says, never happened, was never there. Mark Judge, his friend saying, never happened, never. I, I don't read. Well, actually, Mark Judge is saying, I don't have any recollection. I don't remember this happening. That's different than it never happened. But Kavanaugh saying it never happened. Of course, he has to say that or his nomination would be done. He has to deny it. He has to stick to the story now. And of course, in denying it, he's saying this doctor who, who teaches in Palo Alto University now, you know, this isn't some uh, lady they dragged off the street. Highly educated. Credible. He's saying she's a liar. This never happened. Either she's a liar or a lunatic. She just made it up and is trying to get me in trouble, darn it. I'm trying to serve my country and get this great position. I'll go down in history as a Supreme Court justice, and she's just trying to ruin it. We'll look at also motive. Motive. That is key to in a case. I'm going to present it all tonight. So listen up. Get the popcorn. Get your favorite if you want. And listen up circumstantial evidence of this case a goal of drinking a hundred beer kegs kegs by the end of the senior year a party with a stripper a student falling through a ceiling at a house party these are new details coming up coming out uh, in mark judge's description of his days in georgetown prep school there where he went to school with Brett Kavanaugh was one of his best friends. That's right. He describes it as a partying life. Mark Judge wrote a book. And isn't that uh, curious? His best friend's last name is Judge. <laughs> he wrote a book about his high school days at the preparatory school, Georgetown Prep, where he and his good buddy Brett Kavanaugh went. And he titled it Wasted. That's the name of the book, Wasted. We know what wasted means. You're wasted on booze or drugs, partying. Oh, man, I got wasted last night. It's so bad. It's thrown up all the... Well, that's the name of his book. And it's describing his high school days. Judge also describes in the book an exchange with a young woman at the party, at a party, when... Uh, it arose about a friend who puked in a car. And this is how it goes in the book. Do you know Bart O'Cavanaugh? Yeah. He's around here somewhere. I heard he puked in someone's car the other night. Yeah. He passed out on his way back from a party. Bart O'Cavanaugh is the character in his best friend's book about his partying wasted days in high school as a high school drunk or alcoholic. He didn't did he? Brett Kavanaugh to Bart O. Kavanaugh. <laughs> and how's he how's he uh describe his friend in high school, Brett Kavanaugh? As a drunk, just like him. He puked in someone's car the other night. Yeah, he passed out on, on the way back from a party. He was a partying dude, partying in people's houses, just as Dr. Ford described where he attempted to rape her. This was a common occurrence. These guys were partying and getting drunk and getting wild and out of control during their high school days. And obviously not a lot of parental guidance back then. I don't know if they're living at the school and not living at home or what, what was going on, but these guys were partying harder 
it's amazing he became a lawyer. <laughs> so there you go. There is evidence written by his own best friend, and he's still friends with him today, saying, yeah, me and my friend Brett Kavanaugh were partiers. We partied. Brett got so drunk, he puked in my car, and he passed out. Yeah. So evidence number one, written in a book, testimony by his best friend recounting their days in high school. Wasted, Tales of a Gen X Drunk. That's the full title of the book, Georgetown Prep School. And there's no doubt about it. All right. Now, during a speech in 2015 at Columbus Law School, at the Catholic University of America, Kavanaugh himself, Brett Kavanaugh, once become a Supreme Court just, uh, judge, uh, joked about his high school experience. And here's the quote. He said, what happens at Georgetown Prep stays at Georgetown Prep. Okay. Quote, all right. He definitely said this. What happens in Georgetown prep stays in Georgetown's prep. Like, I'm not talking about it. You know, some wild thing. What do we usually use that phrase towards? Not Georgetown prep, but anybody, any Bueller, anybody? That's right. Las Vegas. What happens in Vegas stays in Vegas. Saying, come to Vegas, party, cheat, do whatever you want. Get high, you know, get wild. Because... It'll stay in Vegas. You go back home, nobody knows the difference. Sin City, they call it, right? Vegas. Whatever happens in Vegas stays in Vegas. Brett Kavanaugh stole that phrase and attributed it to his high school days at Georgetown Prep. Whatever happened back there, Georgetown Prep stays there. That was my crazy, wild, drunken days. I did some wild, crazy stuff. And it stays there. I'm not talking about it. Your friend did, though, in his book, Wasted, and he mentioned you by name, O. Kavanaugh. He really disguised your name a lot, huh? Put an O in front of it. <laughs> That's evidence number two. Evidence number one, his friend's book, Wasted, where he describes Kavanaugh by name, being a partier, wasted himself, drunk, puking, passing out, wild house parties all the time. And here he admits in this speech that he did in front of school, that he's not talking about his wild days. It was wild days, and they're staying there, not talking, not giving it up. All right. A former schoolmate of Brett Kavanaugh's accuser, uh, Dr. Ford, this is another woman who went to school with the accuser, Dr. Ford, wrote in a Facebook post saying she recalls hearing about the alleged assault. uh -huh involving the future Supreme Court nominee, though she said first-hand information to collaborate the accuser's claim. She wasn't there at the party. Christine Blasey Ford, this is the doctor who is accusing uh, Kavanaugh, was a year or so behind me, she said. Now, this woman's name is Christina Miranda King, who now works as a performing arts curator in Mexico City. She says... I didn't know her personally, but I remember her from school. This incident did happen. So we have another witness, Your Honor. This woman, Christina um, Miranda King, she says, yeah, she was a couple years behind me maybe, but I remember passing her in the school, and I remember. And I remember the rumors after this party. And I remember hearing about how she was attacked by Kavanaugh. And she escaped being raped. I remember, I recall that. It did happen. Evidence number three. And circumstantial evidence backing up Dr. Ford's accusation towards Kavanaugh. It's not just a he said, she 